Hey folks, welcome back to our channel. Uh, so today, um, this is going to be part two of the series about mixing gases. Um, if you remember from our first segment um, back in the t uh, a couple weeks ago, we did a video on um, making duster gases um, with propane and comparing the different properties of propane versus duster. As a quick review, um, if you remember uh, from that slide, or from that video, sorry, uh, we used a G19 made by WE, and we found that uh, if you use just propane, you get anywhere from about 45 to 60 shots um, out of propane alone. If you use duster alone, on average, you get anywhere from about 85 to maybe even 95 uh, shots out of the uh, out of the duster. Um, and then when we mix them together, um, in that magic ratio we found was about 10% propane and 90% duster. Uh, we're able to find out that um, you get a kind of a hybrid effect. So you get a slightly higher FPS, um, but you also get more shots out of it, so a higher gas capacity than um, propane alone, and a stronger FPS than, say, duster alone. So that was kind of cool, right? So we wanted to replicate the study and see if that was the same. We tried that again with the um, Block uh, 26 this time by Marui. And we kind of got slightly different results. Um, we found that, again, the duster gas was able to have a stronger, more a higher capacity in terms of gas than the propane alone. Um, again, the number is going to be slightly different because we're using a G26 magazine this time. And remember, the G26 magazine is a lot um, smaller in terms of gas reservoir, so you're going to get less shots. But the overall pattern is still the same, where um, you get more um, uh, more out of a duster gas fill than the out of a propane fill. Where it kind of started getting a little bit dicey, though, was where the results were conflicting was when we started mixing it. We used that magic ratio again, and we got like, less shots than either propane or duster. Um, now, a lot of variables were pl put into play that day, but the biggest one being that we really ran out of gas um, at the end of the test, and so those weren't really rel reliable results. So, um, I don't think that really disproves our theory, so again, we're going to try that again. And we tried that again, this time again, with the um, Block 26 again, same models before, but we had full tanks of gas this time, both propane and of duster. And again, we noticed a similar pattern again where propane shoots higher, which everybody knows, than duster. But uh, duster got a little bit more out of it um, in terms of the gas capacity. We got more shots out of the duster than propane. Now, it wasn't that dramatic this time, though. It was only by a few shots, so you can argue that it might not be really statistically significant, right? But when we mixed it, we still got that hybrid effect. So we got a slightly higher FPS uh, than duster alone, uh, but we got more shots out of them. Actually, either of them, out of either the propane alone or duster alone in this case. So that was kind of uh, kind of supportive. I think I can make an argument that I didn't really fill the duster magazine correctly, and I didn't fill enough of it. Um, that's why we didn't see as, as dramatic of a difference in terms of capacity. Because look at this test. I'm borrowing the slide from my video on the magazine capacity series of the new Tokyo Marui G19. Uh, so this is just a segment of it. You should all check out that video of that one from a different segment. But today we're just going to focus on the capacity. And if you notice here, um, the G19 magazine really uh, shoots um, a lot, uh, a lot more. So in the lime green section right there, that is basically um, propane. Now that just that lime green section, that's data borrowed from data being a YouTuber out in the UK. So I didn't really run propane in my guns, but um, I'm borrowing his data, and he was able to report about 45 to 50. Um, 45 to 50 rounds, which if you look back to our studies, our initial studies using a G19, um, again, it's a, it's a WE, but we use, still use a G19, and so the reservoirs are rough, roughly the same, and we got kind of the same thing, you know, around the 50 to 60 ballpark. So both his data and my data kind of supports the fact that with propane alone, you're going to get around that 50 um, rounds um, capacity mark. Now, I took those same magazines and compared it with different G19 magazine and a G17 magazine. I know that's a little bit larger in terms of capacity, but um, 
there's more details in that video, but for the most part, look at the dramatic difference you'll see here. Uh, you're getting anywhere from 95 to 100 and over 100 rounds easily um, with duster alone. The key here being though that it has to be room temperature uh, because cold weather is the huge is a big enemy of gas in general, but especially duster gas. So, but if you're able to keep it as a room temperature. Um, you, you definitely, definitely get a larger um, capacity um, compared to um, uh, just propane alone. So overall, if you combine all these results um, from the initial test we've done to the repeat test to the repeat of the repeat uh, to extrapolating data from the UK um, to our other clock videos, the general consensus is um, this is that summary slide um, that we saw initially, and it kind of confirms it. Again, remember, propane, you get higher FPS, but the trade-off is you don't get as many shots. Uh, with duster, you get a lower FPS, but the benefit is that you get much more shots out of it. Um, now, of course, this is all assuming you're running at a room temperature environment, because remember, all bets are off if you're in like cold weather. Um, duster is notoriously bad during cold weathers. Um, so this is talking about mainly during the summer. And then of course, if you're going to mix them together, you get that magic ratio. Um, what we're talking about is 10% uh, propane and 90% duster. If you do that combination, you kind of get a hybrid effect. So um, a little bit more in FPS um, and a little bit more in capacity. And that really might be the answer to go. Like if you're afraid that, for example, that you might crack a slide on your Marui, um, that's an, again, that's another topic we can talk about, but this is kind of a midway uh, that you can go in between. Um, you can kind of get uh, a little extra oomph uh, to your performance, to the recoil and FPS without damaging the slide. Um, well, hope you folks found this stuff helpful. Um, this is now the conclusion of our series on mixing gases um, and their overall effects. And so we tried our best to, um, you know, get as many data points as we can. So you know that law, law of like large numbers or whatever. Um, so I think that's a pretty good uh, argument um, about these different gases here. Um, hope you folks found this stuff helpful. Um, you know, give us a like. Um, give us more feedback. Um, so a lot of these things are built on feedback from y'all. Um, you post them down there and hey. You know, give us like subject suggestions, and we we try to run from them because um, oftentimes you know you all see something that I might not see, um, and it helps uh, kind of like builds on this data that we're working on. So give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, um, and uh, see y'all next time. Oh, and please check out that video on the uh, uh, the Glock the Marui Glock 19 because that's kind of pretty cool actually. All right, see y'all next time.